A mechanical engineer and TV personality said, skeptics of global warming suffer from the psychological delusion of cognitive dissonance. It's a slight bump up from last year when his, he was open to the idea of imprisoning skeptics, global warming, as war criminals. Is that the choice? Bell viewer Nuremberg, Bill Nye, joins us now. Bill, it's great to see you. <laughs> That doesn't sound like science to me, Bill Nye, the no, science no. guy. That sounds like something cognitive very distance. different. So cognitive distance is not a delusion. It's a feature. It's human nature. So we okay. in the science community are looking for an explanation why climate change deniers or extreme skeptics uh, do not accept the overwhelming scientific evidence for climate change. And the most reasonable explanation is you have a worldview and then you have evidence and the evidence disagrees with your worldview. So you deny the evidence. And then along right. with that, you deny the authorities that are providing the evidence. Now, if you have a better hypothesis for why climate deniers uh, deny the overwhelming scientific evidence, bring it on. It's not a delusion. It's just like the fox and the grapes. Well, it's, he it's can't reach I mean, the I mean, grapes, so he says the may, grapes are no good. Some, look, it's, you know, people do come to every debate with preconceptions. And you're right about that, of course. But the essence of science is extreme, extreme skepticism. We always ought to be... Asking well, skepticism is my hypothesis true. I'm a member of both skeptic organizations, to, Mr. Carlson, and this is, this is uh, see, uh, climate change denial skeptics. is denial. The evidence is overwhelming. Don't get me wrong. I love you as a person more than life itself, but the evidence for, over, for climate change is overwhelming. So we are looking for an explanation of why you guys are having so much trouble you're, with you're, it. Oh, wait, so, so down, before the name calling begins and before you try to end the conversation, let's start it by asking what exactly you mean. Now, I think most people are open to the idea that the climate is changing. It has always changed, by the way, as you know. It's the, the rate, cool. Mr. Carlson. It's the, the rate no, that's such so, a concern. So the core question, from what I can tell, is why the change? Is it part of the endless cycle of climate change, or is human activity causing it? That seems to be the debate to me. And it seems an open question, not a settled it's, question, to what degree human activity is causing that. Is that it's not, not an open a, it's question? It's not an open question. It's a settled question. Human activity is causing okay. climate change. To what so, degree? To, to a degree that it's, that it's a very serious problem in the next no, few no, but, decades. No, no, wait, stop, stop, stop. Wait, no, you said it's a settled point, and I'm yeah, asking a very precise question. Yeah, in the science community it's a settled point. To, okay, the, then, then if, you'll, if you'll elucidate it for me, I'd be grateful. To what degree is climate change caused by human activity? Is 100% of climate change is caused by human activity? Is it 74.3%? It's settled science. Please tell us to what degree human no, so activity that's is your, responsible. Uh, so the word degree is a word that you chose, but the speed that climate change is happening is caused by humans. Instead of happening on time scales of right? millions of years or let's say 15,000 years, it's happening on the time scale of decades and now years. Now, you know, I offered... Uh, wait, 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 but hold on, hold on. But to, no, what, no. I mean, to, to what extent is human activity <laughs> responsible for speeding that up? I mean, please be more precise If that's the number you want. Being. Humans are so causing it to happen changed. catastrophically fast. Okay, so at what rate would it have changed without human activity? And well, you, you look the annoyed that I'm asking these questions, but they're very basic questions. They're okay, not denial. Okay, so basically, uh, the, the cycles of climate change, the last ice age we had was tens of thousands of years ago. So uh, okay. bear in mind that in ancient dinosaur days, there was more carbon dioxide. The world was warmer than it is now. There was an inland sea in what is now Wyoming. And I understand you have a, a Congress member, a member of Congress from Colorado used to be underwater. And you go to Dinosaur right. National no, Mall, you can see it. Okay. Yes. But that's millions of years ago. The problem is you the rate. You just said it was tens of it's thousands. The, that was the ice age. The rate. Okay. The rate is okay. the problem. Now, here's the thing. Half the people in the world live on sea coasts. As we get the ocean a little bit warmer, the ocean's going to expand, and people live no, no, on the you're, sea you're, coast you're are going to be displaced. But you're not answering no, no, my question. About the speed no, no, of, yes, you're I describing what will happen if this continues. Change. And I'm it's asking you a simple question. Hold on. I'm asking you a simple question about the rate of climate change. So the rate, you said that it would be happening, but that rate has accelerated because of human activity. And I'm asking you oh, The word you very accelerated simply, is an understatement. Okay? It's happening okay, extraordinarily fast. I'm asking you a simple fast. question. And because the science is settled, I hope you can answer it in simple terms, which is, without human activity, how long would it have taken for us to reach this level of warmth in our climate? Uh, it's not clear that it would have happened. In other words, humans have changed the climate so drastically that we have almost certainly avoided it another ice age. There would have been another ice age. Ain't going to happen because of you and me. So uh, the sooner we get and to we work know on that this problem, for, when, the problem. When would it have happened? 
When would the next ice age have happened? Yeah. Is that I'm your saying, question? Without I human activity, what would, the, what would the process... Look, here's the point that I hope our viewers can understand. I'm not in any way denying that the climate is changing. I'm utterly open to the possibility that the change is caused by man's activity. I'm merely calling into question your claim that all of this is settled, that, the well, okay. that we know precisely what is happening and why, and that anyone who asks pointed questions about it is a denier and ought to be imprisoned or shouted off the stage. No, that was your word. That's, you guys, that's not, my, that's not my claim. And I really... Would you, like me to, would, would you like me to read your quote? That people who disagree with you ought to potentially go to jail? You said that. Okay. And I'm just saying, isn't, I'm not isn't sure skepticism that's exactly what I baked said, into Mr. science? Carson, we can talk about that shortly, but... Is it Under, appropriate to jail the guys from Enron? Was it appropriate to jail the people of the cigarette industry who promised it wasn't addictive, et cetera? Okay. You're, look, my only point is, shouldn't we be encouraging people to ask honest questions, which I am doing, and you don't seem to have the answers to those questions. Okay, I got to disagree why. with you. I claim I do have the answers. Okay. Okay. So let me ask you this. Why aren't you concerned about it? Don't you have four children? Why aren't you concerned I, I about it? I am concerned. That's why I'm having you on. You look, you don't reach correct conclusions in science or politics or any other field unless you can ask honest answers without being shouted down I don't think by you people meant like ask, you. But I know what you mean. So no, I do what mean answer ask. do you want I do to mean have? I have a I want to know what when, would happen without the human activity. The climate change No, it's a simple question. The climate is always changing, you've conceded that. You're saying well, that human activity conceded, has increased the speed. That. Yeah increases the speed of that change. And my point is, what would the climate look like right now without human activity? It would have looked like it would did it have in 1750. The Britain would not, would not be very well suited to period. growing... Yes, Britain would not be very well suited to growing grapes as it is today. French winemakers would not be buying land to the north uh, as they are now. Uh, people who uh, plan to run ski resorts would still be able to do it in Europe. Uh, and so the climate change and the parasites... You're using the language of politics. Look, you're not, you're not a not scientist, as you know. You're a popularizer. And, I just the think, and that's fine. But so I'm using the language of economics. I'm just saying, you look, asked what it would to the extent like that you prevent people... Effect, okay, did if you, you prevent people like? from having an honest conversation, you're doing a grave disservice to science. Don't you think that? So you asked, uh, you asked how long it would be before what would the climate would be like if humans weren't involved right now is that right yeah yes that's okay. exactly right so at, the climate at what point would, be would like it have changed and so, i'm just saying you don't actually know because it's unknowable so, this so why is how aren't you long open it takes to you questions? to interrupt me okay it takes you quite a bit less than six seconds so the climate would be like it was in 1750 and the economics would be that you could not grow wine worthy grapes in britain as you can today, because the climate is changing. The use of pesticides in the Midwest would not be increasing okay. because the parasites are showing up sooner and ha or the pests are showing up sooner and hanging around longer. The, I the, think the that's probably all Wyoming true, but you... would not be overwhelmed okay. by pine bark beetles as it is right. because of climate change. That's how so the world much of this you don't know. For you pretend that you know, but you don't know, I and you bully people with you, who ask I you really questions. I really have to disagree with you. Well, I spent a lot I, of time look, with this topic. I'm open-minded. You are not, and we're out of okay. time, unfortunately. So, Thank you for joining you know, us. You guys are the mainstream media, and I can tell you why there are leaks. Because the president has created two factions in his administration. They don't like each other, so they leak. It's not from the outside. It's from the inside. Carry on, Mr. Carlson. I'm sure we will cross paths again. <laughs> That's a very ominous thing to say. I don't know what it means, but come back anytime.